Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing today, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and let's get into your weekly tarot reading today, Aquarius, for August. All right, darling? So your first row today, we're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind. Could be platonic, could be romantic, could be business-related or family-related. All I know is, Aquarius, that it's not my business to know your business about who this person is, all right? And then in your second row today, Aquarius, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today, all right? Could be serving as just a spiritual message for some of y'all or it could be aff uh, affirming something that you've been intuitively already feeling and then in your third row aquarius we're going to be talking about some predictions for you well the future is never solid darling all right the future is never solid i can still make some pretty solid predictions for you today about what's going to happen in your life should you continue down the same path that you have been going right but let's start with your main energy here aquarius with this chariot energy stepping forward to you all right chariot energy i always associate the chariot energy as like a sagittarian energy where it's just that sense of traveling i also call this chariot card of the card of where it's like the uber service being sent from the spiritual world where it's like this uh the universe spirit whatever you want to call the collective darling right so they're not going to send an uber service for you to help you down your path if you're not already on your right path right they're not going to just help you uh like increase the speed of you going down the wrong path here for some of you aquariuses you just need to hear the affirmation that you are exactly where you need to be at this current point in time and my regulars already know Aquarius that if you were not I would have no problems and just clocking y'all honey because I gain nothing from telling y'all what you want to hear honey all right but I also associate this um cherry energy where it's like a tit for a tat right it's that sense of where it's just like the more coal that you put in the train aquarius the faster that train's going to be going all right so for some of you aquarians you need to hear this affirmation that you need to continue putting energy in what it is that you already have been doing making more time to put energy uh, uh to continue investing in what it is that you have been doing because it's going to increase the speed of what it is that you're trying to manifest darling whether that's in a relationship for some of you guys right maybe you're trying to manifest uh, a soulmate or twin flame right i don't like to use those terminologies for myself uh just because i feel like they're overused but you know whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and that's like your current desire aquarius continue putting more energy into it maybe some of you guys have been slacking a little bit on that maybe you've been like letting go of your chores or haven't been uh keeping up the environment to continue motive uh to keep up the motivation for you to be pursuing whatever it is that you have been pursuing darling all right aquarius so let's get in talking about the person that's on your mind today here you have this full energy my favorite card in the tarot deck the full card with the four of cups as well as the seven of pentacles coming in here i'm gonna be honest here aquarius i feel like this is like i don't feel like this is unfamiliar energy to you like when i hold this energy i it just feels familiar to me so i don't feel like this is someone new uh necessarily the connection might be new but i feel like it's this is like a situation where it's um it was like the right person, but when you first met them at the time, it just was not the right timing is what I hear with this here, right? I feel so personally passionate about the Four of Cups and how it's illustrated, probably the most out of any card in the tarot deck because it just means so much, right? You look at the card itself and there's an individual with its their eyes closed, arms crossed, representing that they're closed off um, to a situation due to those three cups, right? Their current situation there. So it's like when this connection first came in, this could be on your side, could be on their side, or it could be both, darling, right? Whatever the case is, it's like whenever the connection first came forward, um, there was that sense of just not trusting the energy, not wanting to open up to them whatsoever, even though spirit was right along here trying to hand that cup to you, but you don't see it because of your current situation, right? You're already closed off to it. So it doesn't matter what spirit does trying to hand that cup to you, unless you're ready to see a different perspective and to open up, you ain't going to see it here, right? And so that's what I see with this energy here, where it's just like someone that... I don't know. I don't know if there's like, we're not, maybe with the clarifiers, so it'll let me know if there was like a fight or something like that. But I feel like this is like a slow harvest, right? It's like you planted like an avocado, like I always call the seven of pentacles, like the avocado tree, right? Where it's like you plant avocado seeds and you don't expect avocados overnight, right? You, it's like 20 years before that tree uh, starts holding fruit. And so what, that's what I see with this, where it's just like, y'all made an initial connection 
and it just maybe didn't like it just took a long time to harvest and i just see the sense of whatever this relationship is like whatever dynamic this is i feel like starting it's going to start progressing quicker here because keep in mind i don't i feel like i neglected saying this but the cherry energy is influencing all three of these rows here right so i feel like the increase of speed when it comes to this connection here aquarius where it's like a clean slate that full energy that's girl can i hold this card <laughs> i have girl <laughs> i have my hands look like a damn claw machine with my nails and i can't hold it properly still <laughs> but that's why you see with the full card is associated with the number zero right so it's like that girl it's like that sense with a clean slate aquarius all right so let's pull some clarifiers honey because that card does not want to be held by me apparently all right so before i lose my patience with it any more than i already have let's get these clarifiers here <clears throat> by the way two of cups here king of cups i think i'll just pull these two cards here from the back of the deck here king of cups coming in here emotional maturity here maybe there's someone that wasn't emotionally ready at the time but with this king of cups here i feel like now is the time here two of cups as well as the ten of swords all right so if you were feeling initially guarded when it came to this connection here aquarius well i'm not here to tell you how to handle your relationships darling for one tarot should never do that telling you how you should live your life but also i don't know your situation with this person or your emotional capacity right but i get this sense here where it's like things didn't initially work out because it's like maybe there's just like complications with someone's relationships you know that two of cups there maybe someone had like trust issues or like relationship issues or maybe they were dealing with somebody at the time that like y'all couldn't really do anything or have any type of progression here and so i feel like the sense of like things are different now you have that ten of swords here and i always say these ten swords didn't happen overnight right the ten of swords tens representing closures to cycles here and so it's like, ugh, this is where like the pain is. But again, I don't feel like it's like directly directed necessarily at them. I feel like it was just like the situation itself where it's just like someone was just dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of drama, pain perhaps. And due to that pain, it was really hard for this person to be uh, emotionally mature or stable enough to be able to entertain any type of new connection here right and i feel like times are changing now i get this sense of where someone's becoming more emotionally available to the connection here all right so i like this a lot even afterwards you have this eight of wands coming in here really complementing this cherry energy to be honest because in this dynamic the eight of wands represents quick movement you know traveling fast forward movement here could be someone that is um at a distance like a long distance type of thing here long distance relationship maybe you meet this person online or what have you right or you just take it again in the sense of where it's just you know things happening in a quicker at a quicker rate here all right so let's give you a moon oracle card here before we continue on to what you need to hear today aquarius all right <clears throat> new moon in cancer relax darling relax all right so when it comes to this connection here i feel like there is a little bit of overthinking because you might be referencing by by like what happened in the past and you're in this place of being a little bit skeptical about the situation here all right just take it easy right new moons represent new beginnings right new beginnings representing again really emphasizing that sense of the zero right with that fool fool's journey here so i really get with this sense here this connection whatever the case is whatever the case is what this connection means to you aquarius seems to be really solid here all right so and that's when i got on that let's start talking about uh what you need to hear today aquarius all right so you have this king as well as three of pentacles here with that justice energy that nice libran energy not to say that you're dealing with the libra uh, aquarius i just like to say it because i guess i am just <laughs> a narcissist honey i'm a big old narcissist i'm a libra scorpio cusp so when i see a libra card i'm like hey that's me All right but no <laughs> what you need to be hearing today here aquarius is that what's going to be coming into battle like whenever you have the justice card right it deals with the scales and then when i see this three of pentacles here that's dealing with co-creation co uh collaboration co-creation or whatever Asian you want to be saying there right and then the king of pentacles right i always say the king of pentacles is building an empire all right so in a financial way in a project way here i see for you aquarius and i think i've been saying this for a hot biscuit now for you maybe i'm wrong but i do see at this time 
Aquarius where it's just like co-creation is going to be really valuable to you all right now I also want to point out with the three of pentacles is that it's there's always this emphasis of how the three of pentacles is illustrated Aquarius about how each individual is vastly different from another person and granted I guess we don't need to be looking too hard on this one because literally two of them look like they're damn twins so um, we'll just ignore that aspect of it but I do feel like for some of you Aquarians it's that sense of where people are going to be coming into your life that help accomplish yeah I did say this for you in a previous reading now that I'm remembering there's going to be like there's people in your life Aquarius that's going to be coming into your life that really complement you right so i always call my aquarians like my mad scientist artistic folk right so maybe you're an artist right but and you want to like monetize your art but you don't know how instead of trying to have like that business headspace start uh, co-creating with other people that specialize in business that you know instead of like stressing about doing social media find someone that can help you do social media right that's a perfect example for me it's like darling like it's a full-time job trying to do social media while also trying to artistically still be inspiring what have you but i digress this is not about me but I do feel as if it's uh, a quote that I love to say that uh, Minnow Pond on YouTube says this dream, uh, teamwork makes the dream work, right? Um, so really not too much of a depthful quote there, but it gets to the point, right? Where it's just like working together towards the ultimate goal here. And I really do feel as if there's going to be people coming into your life that just compliment you in a nice in a nice way that will help elevate you uh, and help you take care of blockages in your life that you haven't you haven't quite known how to address yourself right especially like again it's interesting how we have the nine of pentacles that flopped out here all right so it's really putting that emphasis here aquarius about like you know this is the best card for like personal endeavors right like so myself employed trying to make a um trying to make a hobby a side income or what have you right so really fabulous in that way here the clarifiers that we have for this aquarius are the ace as well as the ten of wands coming in here as well as the four of pentacles stepping in for you right this is what's that's where the problem is Aquarius right you have that ace of wands I usually I always read inverted but I don't feel like it's really necessary for you all to know which ones are inverted or not because it literally doesn't impact your life at all because the message is how I say it's still going to be the same whether you see it upside down or not but I see this sense of where it's like part of the reason why some of you guys are feeling so fatigued or losing so uh, losing your motivation so quickly when it comes to your projects and just what have you is because you're trying you're spreading yourself too thin when you're not when you should be learning how to delegate all right some of the reason why where it's like you're feeling an uninspired or just like really just like taxed really it's like there are certain passions of yours where it's like if you had help you could do so much more right i speak better in analogies Aquarius so forgive me for making it sound like I'm making it about myself but in this type of way this is for me because I, I have no Aquarius in my chart so I know this is not for me but if this was for me I'd be like okay like part of the reason why like you know uploading 12 videos a week minimum on my YouTube channel is so taxing for me is because I'm not delegating right I need to go to someone that maybe could perhaps like help me edit or just help run the social media so I can be more about the passion and continue investing in things that uh fill me personally all right and I know I'm going to be hearing in the comments already, Aquarius, about how some people will be like, well, I can't afford that, what have you. All right. Well, that's just it is what it is in that sense. Maybe you just need to have some type of like uh, education guidance. So maybe someone can help you learn how to maneuver certain things here. But I do feel as if, if you are, if you keep your mind open to the opportunity or to the idea of having your path open up to people that would be able to assist you and have it be realistic for you in your life. You know, maybe it's a cop out for me, darling, but I do suspect that you're not it's like you're you're beating down an idea before you're actually even allowing it to uh, get its roots. Right. It's like you're not even considering the opportunity for something, because when you first hear the idea of it, you're just like, oh, no, that's not possible for me. And I really just want to clock some you Aquarius is about being too shallow minded or just close minded, I think is the word I want to be saying for that. So take that as you will aquarius honey all right let's get you a uh, animal oracle card i guess you're going to be getting a couple here honey i don't know what it is honey but i can't hold these cards with y'all 
<laughs> Y'all have the elk as well as the zebra card coming in here. We'll talk about the elk first. Stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve here, Aquarius. All right. Some of you guys are afraid of like uh, co creating or uh, talking to people that are different from you, right? What we were talking about from that Three of Pentacles where it's just like people who are very different from you it's like you tell yourself this sense of being like oh like i'm too weird or i'm too quirky for people to understand me and i'm gonna you know you all, aquarians my regulars know i love y'all the most i always gas y'all out because y'all are just so interesting to me as a libra i always love y'all's energy uh trying to unpack it here but it's like some of y'all are just need to hear the fact that it's just like you're not as eccentric and hard to understand as you would like to make yourself think you just are have been around people that just are not your it's like you have a, a very different personality from the people that you're around and so you start thinking that you're just this hard to understand unique flower when in reality that's not what it is it's just that you're not around the right people so stop convincing yourself that you're just so different and quirky that no one can understand you you just haven't aren't in the proper communities yet all right so and that's just being very very blunt it's not you know not to say that you aren't quirky and eccentric honey right if that's like your personality trait but i've seen more often than not people always just get themselves in these self delusions of telling themselves being like oh i'm so different i'm never gonna be understood and they set up these self-fulfilling prophecies and it's just like girl i promise you you're a lot more normal than you like to think all right let go of your fear and know that you're safe and protected at all times again really addressing the sense of internal anxieties at this time here aquarius I get this suspicion for some of you guys here. Um, there are certain things that are happening in your life that are just triggering, uh, triggering you. And those triggers are meant for being brought forward to you for you to be unpacking. And as you unpack those triggers and take the lessons that you need to be taking from those triggers, then I feel like things are going to be continuously happening at a, a, a more at, a, at an increased rate. Uh, rather right making sure that we properly speak at the time sometimes at least <laughs> so that's what i see with that uh aquarius let's start talking about your predictions today here knight of pentacles eight of swords here as well as the moon card coming in here this is just like a straight up message here aquarius where it's just like you know um <laughs> I'm not going to be that blunt. This is a straight up case, Aquarius, where it's just like, this is time for you to be leaning more into your discomfort here. All right. The similarity between the Knight of Pentacles as well as the King, or uh, King, Knight of Pentacles as well as the Eight of Swords coming in here is so like, both of them are afraid of taking action sometimes right sometimes the knight of pentacles is just always going forward but by definition the knight of pentacles is that sense of just like honoring your commitments and just buckling down and getting to the nitty-gritty here right and it's like that sense where because there's certain things that you don't understand aquarius that you hold yourself back and the reality is aquarius it's like again like if you continue only keeping yourself in uh situations where you understand things and see things clearly for what they are see people for what they are you're never going to be breaking the patterns for the type of people that you attract for the situations that you put yourself in because again you're only keeping yourself in that comfort zone of like being able to surround yourself with people that you're able to easily read you know for example like again i know narcissists like honey i can go a whole rant about how people call everyone a narcissist when narcissists are not inherently bad people but it's like you know for example maybe you have this pattern of always uh, attracting narcissists right uh, in your life darling even if you don't want to be attracting narcissists like because that like the your experiences with those narcissists have like given you so much anxiety when it comes to connecting to people in general then you only keep to people that you understand but your only understanding are the narcissists so then you just does that make sense aquarius so it's like i understand this concept of having trust issues due to traumatic or um you know just traumatic uh previous relationships or just what have you but one, don't treat that as the reality. There's how many billions of people in this world here? And it's not the reality for everybody, right? But two, just have this understanding that just because you can't fully understand or read a person or read a situation doesn't mean that it's not for you or that they're hiding something or anything like that. If anything, that's a positive sign because you're finally breaking the pattern of going in those same cycles, those same loops with the type of personalities that you attract or the opportunities. Does that make sense, Aquarius? So honestly, <laughs> I think this is probably my most, my favorite reading that I've done in quite a long time, Aquarius. This is probably the easiest 
easiest time that I've had with reading your energy here. And I feel like I'm going to be bruising a lot of egos here. So I feel like, unfortunately, not a lot of people will be receptive to this message here. But I feel like for those that do listen, this will be such an insane aha moment that some of y'all will be having. So if you made it this far, I love you so much, Aquarius. And thank you for taking the time to trust me and listening to me, darling. All right. So that's so what I have for you. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, Aquarius. All right. Give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this because it helps me out a lot. And I'll connect with you later on, darling. Bye, Aquarius.